said a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now the renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially hugely appreciate that my friends also if you do enjoy the content please consider clicking that like button subscribing and ringing that bell to help support the content and grow even further we also stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together enjoy the show my friends Hey there, welcome back tonight. I'm Supper of Let's Supper Together back in the mountains, my friends. And today we're going to be showing something that I read off Reddit. It was actually quite an eye opener, actually, and some good technology. And I'm burning alive, and I've realized, <laughs> realized I've got no potion. But we're having a nice little scientific session today. So, where's the flasks? Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not good. Um, what? Oh, I'm not on fire anymore. Um, I should probably stop letting this guy have his way with me. <laughs> but Keenan the Fab off Reddit. Hey, it was a wonderful, and he got a few of my brain cells tingling. And you can see it's rather tentacly based, which is always nice. But primarily, we're going to be looking at the old uh, little plasma today, which highly dangerous, highly dangerous to use the plasma. Now, there's things you can do and can't do. And it's an interesting discussion on the nature of tentacles anyway, which, of course, plasma in all its forms, plasma thrower, orbit, the actual regular plasmas, the cross, the lines, the horizontal and vertical, have always been a little bit dangerous. Now, the one thing I've found... Alright, let me just unfuck this one. The one thing I did find that was really interesting, and I'm probably going to have to give myself some extra lives, um, which I've already done. I've already given myself a nice little loadout. Do do. Uh, extra life. Thank you very much. But that's all I've got. I've only got an extra life and movement and edit ones and stuff like that. I've got no invulnerabilities or immunities or anything like that. Um, but let me just... Yeah, this is a Matter Eater Chainsaw wand, right? But with Tentacle, this is beside the point, this is just really interesting. It, you know, because the way the Tentacle fires, it allows you to Matter Eater from quite a distance, you know? Just on Matter Eater alone. So if you're trying to make, you know, some good distance and wondering what projectile to use, Tentacle's actually really good and you can always use something like a you know a greek spell add trigger with the matter eater right a quick discussion on the nature because this will help you understand why exactly what we're going to show works when you fire a tentacle it doesn't actually come out the end of a wand you see it it comes out of you which is huge hold on um hmm <laughs> Dude, invulnerable to my tentacles. Apparently, Matter Eater... Is that true? Matter Eater reduces damage? Where is the Matter Eater? I hate looking at this progress bar. You get you get spell blind. There we are. No, it doesn't. But apparently, Matter Eater... <laughs> is stopping the Whipper doing damage. Oh, maybe not. But I don't know. One damage isn't exactly a lot. So, if you do do this, <laughs> do -do, it is primarily going to be a uh, digging wand. Firstly, though, the one thing that we learned from Keenan the Fab off Reddit is because this tentacle comes from your noiter and not the end of a wand, plasma orbit acts very differently. You see that? The or they're getting on me. Now, if you did that with a regular projectile, which I don't actually have. Take my word for it. I don't think this'll... No, it's a single frame spell, so that won't work. Now, I've tried this for your benefit. If you um, try and do this with a regular, you know, cross off the end of the tentacle... Ow! It really hurts. If you use a plasma beam throw, which is a modifier as well, it fucking hurts. And, um... The projectile launches a plasma beam upon bouncing. This doesn't bounce, so it won't work. So you've got that, you know. But if you use the plasma beam orbit, because it's attached to the tentacle itself, and the tentacle is actually launching out the noia, not you, it is completely safe. Now, what I want to do is demonstrate 
how this would work against two of the more interesting bosses because with pit boss you are looking to throw a plasma beam or something the pit boss can replicate to kill it so is it primarily going to try and copy the tentacle or is it going to copy the plasma now i've tried this as well which is um something you might immediately go to will it keep on going you know can i time up a tentacle with another timer actually i'll do it with that because that'll make more sense but you know this seems like it would work but it doesn't it hurts you it just stings a little bit so you can't do it in perpetuity now what you might want if you're going up against pit boss is a way to make that tentacle go a bit further so we're going to go in spells um projectile let's look up any projectile distance in would an increase timer work and again if you have any uh increased lifetime if you have any again science or ideas you want to share down in the description as well yeah, feel free hey it lingers a lot more but that's not necessarily a bad thing um again finding the, the actual spell you want for all of this is a bit of a nightmare um what would you want is there a projectile kind of speed what would you call it ah we'll have i know what i'll do i'll be a smart boy and look in here because if we're looking for the chevrons speed up or ex speed up or accelerating shot probably not accelerating shot speed 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 up that might work because we want distance on this to hit the boy oh yeah that's what we're looking for so we can remain safe now let's get to it my friends some good old science pit boss is a dangerous foe god damn i hate that cheat gui and controller is a little bit annoying so we need to attack him god damn oh okay Oof. Oh, are we dragging him he's got the tentacle man oh now he's got plasma though you kind of want to clip him with the plasma Oh, I'm a little bit... Oh, there you go. Yeah, the pit boss will copy spells. So you want to shoot him with something. And he'll copy. That should do it. He's not doing many of them, though. Mainly, I think it's the type of spell I'm using. <laughs> Tentacles, I'm sure. That's uh, going to benefit you, mate. Hey, it's not solely productive. I might have done it. Again, you do not want to be near the folk at all and he's down so not bad ducks i love ducks um we're actually gonna have a little uh great firstly i need to make my matty eater one it's already got a chainsaw on so i don't need to you know do too much but i was thinking as well you know pit boss because you know plasma and pit boss is primarily two things you want to get going with and uh, uh boomerang that's not really gonna help unless increase right if the tentacle digs if i can have the increased lifetime on the tentacle <laughs> and have it dig and essentially just boomerang back to my person i could just like float around and dig wherever i want for a longer period of time interesting right let me just drop these on the floor because we've got to try that since it is a part of today's video science i mean it's a little bit beside the point but yeah, the problem with the always cast though it will only go on the first projectile so we boomerang it increase its lifetime not bad definitely helps out a little bit good times but I was thinking, since, you know, when you go down to Master, and it's got the red orbs, the Master of uh, one, not Master of Wands, the Master of Wizards thingies, you know. Uh, the red orbs will hurt you. You don't want that. 
you know? You really don't want the red orbs hurting you. And normally, you'd want to use something and directly attack the blue orbs. Whoops, a daisy. So, what I'm thinking is can I attack the blue orbs with a tentacle? Because that's obviously quite easily directed and quite, you know, close, if you know what I mean. It's not exactly You're not exactly going to miss too easy and hit the red orb. And with the plasma, that's not going to hurt you. Can you do good damage against the blue orbs? Ah, going nullification chamber might have been a good one, though. But how will it do against Master since... Oh, my friends, my old buddies, old pal. How you doing, guys? Yeah, it's the one time since we're not on an old boss speedrun that we don't have to kill them. Okay. Yeah, it feels gloomy here. I'm no fucking surprised. The high amount of concentration of enemies and the lack of food resources. I mean, that's just ridiculous, man. Where's all the agriculture and farming and thing, you know? <laughs> oh, dear me. But again, we got a load of extra lives. We'll have to be really careful. Is that a Noida ghost? It is. I think it was anyway with a wand up there. One HP doesn't matter. Oh, you could also go with a bit of repulsion if you want the tentacle to go a bit further out. What we're looking for, though, is just positive confirmation. Uh, what I'm going to do, because the tentacle, since it is fired from you, if I hit a tentacle with a red orb, to the red orb on the Master of Wizards, will that actually hurt me? Because, you know, if it's doing a lack of damage from the old uh, plasma beam orbit. Will the tentacle do damage if I hit the red orb? And will the plasma beam orbit, you know, force me to take damage from the red orb? The blood link is insidious when it comes to the master. If you're not sure what I'm on about, I'll, I'll uh, go you in a minute. But again, we're on a mission. We could die very easily. Hello. So we just dig and get into a little safe place. The good thing about this is, because this dickhead will boomerang shots, he'll do a load of different bad things to you. So the red orbs that are floating around. Oh, vulnerable and confused. He'll make you confused as well. This dude should come down here at any time. Yeah, those red orbs, if you hit them, it's called blood link. So the amount of damage due to the red orb will hurt me. The blue orbs you need to destroy to be able to do damage to this dude in the first place. So, if we hit him with the or like, let's do some good science here. Hit him with the tentacle in the first place on the red orb. That hurts. Only four damage, though. Ten damage on the old blue orb, though. Yeah, ten damage. So. Ah, there's a lot more damage. Okay. You might... Again, this is good science. Because I'm just... I'm just trying to get the... Plasma on it. Yeah. Unfortunately, the plasma itself will still... Even though it won't hurt you. Um... Twitchy, which makes me fire shots against my will. And then those shots can hurt me. But at least, you know, going against Pit Boss. Because I just like Pit Boss shooting tentacles, to be honest, so. Uh, it's not exactly very effective, is it? Yeah, with all this liquid as well. So I'm trying to get to a position where only. And I can. Nah, none of. Yeah, the tentacle wasn't hitting that then. Yeah. So, Red Orb is down, my friends. What you do anyway, all you do is get him into a situation like this, where you're blocking things off, and you just go with a drill anyway. You don't really need extra strats. Chainsaw works. Just as well. Ow. Oh, I will attract all things at the moment. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you just do this instead, and then shank him. Shank him, bro. Ooh. Try and stab me. And that's how you kill him. You do not need something like this, but I thought it was a nice little science along with everything else since, uh. Fake Kuko. 
you know, since we've got some interesting stuff here today, especially with the older uh, tentacle plasma beam orbit. So we're making plasma safe for everybody, my friends. But again, all in all, I appreciate the, uh, you know, Reddit bringing it to light, man. Ah. So yeah, plasma can now be used by all. The common man is now accessible to, and you're going to have a lot of fun with it, because plasma is one of those that a lot of people don't use it because it's very dangerous. But hopefully you can now go into the world and kill everything with it. Because tentacle on its own, pretty fun, you know? And you can always extend that. If you're worried about range, extend that shit, you know? With a bit of homing as well. Maybe it'll be even better. But again, do your own science. I'm not here to give you every little thing. That's always been my philosophy, you know? I mean, I respect people who just give all the information away, you know? Yeah, that's what wikis are for in the first place, you know? There's definitely a need for it, but I'm here to allow you to do your own adventure. Learn your own things and give you a little guiding path along the way. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or further science, hey, get down in that comment section. We're always there. We're always streaming at twitch.tv forward slash let's up together so you can join us for some great interactive entertainment. Hey, come come along, tell us about your runs. Chill, chat, enjoy. Conversations about Neuer, regular life, current events, you know, different games. Hey, any and all conversation, welcome, my friends. But I hope you've had a fantastic day. You know, stay safe, stay hydrated, don't get run over. I'll catch up with you in the next video or next stream. And enjoy your plasma shenanigans. Take it easy, my friends. See you soon.